Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back with another quick video tutorial on another common question and that is, what is all this pesky other storage that I see on my iPhone? Most people encounter this for the first time when they plug the phone into their iTunes and they see that great little graph at the bottom of the screen that shows you what's taking up all your storage and a lot of times the yellow other is a lot bigger than you would anticipate, sometimes in the higher gigabytes and you may be running out of storage because of it. Navigating on your iPhone to the Settings application, General, and then Storage and iCloud Usage usually is a good place to start on the device to see what is actually being taken up storage-wise. Managing the storage on the device will show you all of the different applications, how much storage they're potentially holding, and kind of give you a good indication of where you should start cleaning up things that don't need to be there. In my experience, the most common place is actually the Messages application. In today's day and age, we are on the internet constantly, we're taking pictures, and we're sending all of those to our friends and loved ones, usually via the Messages app. And this is a place I at least personally forget to clear out a lot of clogged up junk that I don't need anymore. Tapping details on each message thread will pull up the attachments that you and your friend have sent over the course of your conversation. As you can imagine, this stuff stacks up pretty quick, and tapping and holding until delete appears is a good way to quickly whittle away attachments you don't need anymore. If you head back to the storage and iCloud usage pane, another place to look is app data. Things like Spotify, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook tend to store a lot of files on the application that it should dump periodically and sometimes you'll notice those app sizes are way larger than they should be. Deleting those apps or reinstalling them will oftentimes make things fresh again and allow the storage to be read properly. Worst case scenario, you may have to back up your important information and perform a restore through iTunes. The good thing about doing this though is you start with square one data and you're able to simply bring things over one at a time that you actually do need to use on the iPhone. Hopefully we helped you whittle down that other storage a little bit and you have a little bit more usable space to use on your iPhone. We'll talk to y'all soon.